welcome to my part two of my Christmas living room. We started last week by decorating the Christmas tree here in the living room, and in today's video, we'll be decorating my fireplace area. If you happen to be new today, hello, I'm Robin, and welcome to my channel. Hello friends and welcome back to day two. We completed our Christmas tree yesterday and today we're gonna to work on our mantle. But real fast, let me show you some new pieces that I picked up to decorate the mantle and the hearth with. Okay, I'm gonna start by showing you these new candlesticks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got a short one and a tall one. I think they're gonna look really good on the mantle. Um, they were $28.99 and I got them 60% off. And at the season, at the end of the Christmas season last year, I picked up a set of LED lights. They're red. So I'm hoping that that red will look really good against this gold. Now, I showed this in one of my first Christmas hauls, but I want to show it again just real quickly. It's the six foot garland that was $27.99 from Walmart. And I think it's so realistic and so pretty. I picked up two of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to, but I've got two of them to use. I'm hoping to use this on the mantle. And then to kind of string along on top of this um, garland to kind of give it a little layering, I've got some uh, a strand of bells that I picked up and I picked up another garland that's got some gold in it to kind of layer it. Let me show you that garland. Okay, so I picked up two of these and they, um, they also came from Hobby Lobby. They were $19.99 with 60% off but they're so sweet. They got a little bit of a gold touch to them and the pine cones have like a little light gold on them. They are so pretty. So just a touch of gold in this to kind of help layer um, the garland on the mantle. Okay, let's see. Now, another thing I got, you guys know, I had such a hard time decorating my hearth. And so I picked up some new lanterns and let me show you those real quickly. There's a tall one, a medium one, and then a small one. And I'm just gonna show you the small one. I'll show you them up close as I'm decorating the hearth. But I got these off of Amazon. Okay, and here, this is the small one. Like I said, there's a medium and a large one. They're just beautiful. Uh, they open, they have a little opening right here. And I'm also hoping that those red LED lights will look really pretty inside these lanterns. I will link everything I can down in my description box, guys. Okay, and then I also picked up the set of Christmas trees. I gotta take the top of, off of that. That's to keep them from getting scratched. Um, they're, they're the same size. I wish they come like a bigger one and a smaller one, but they only came in a set like this and they're the same size, but they are just beautiful. beautiful. So if I don't use them on my mantle today, I'm hoping I'll, I can use those on my bookshelf as you walk in my living room to the left. So these, like I said, came from World Market and I'll link them below. Okay, and most of you know that we just had our fifth grandbaby. Her name is Lainey, and she's truly God sent. She's doing so well. Um, but now that each of my children have children, this year we're going to start doing stockings on the mantle. Let me show you what I picked up to do the stockings. Okay, so off of Amazon, I picked up these, if you can see it. They are sweater-like material, and they're emerald green. I think they're so pretty, and they're kind of stretchy, so anything I get the kids will actually go in there. Okay, so I just picked up a simple, um, what are these things called? I just picked up a simple stocking holder that goes on the mantle, I think like that, and then the stocking will hang from there, so just a simple black iron. And then I picked up this cute, these cute little tags. There's a set of eight of them with a little jute string and you just write on them with chalk. And so I think once the names actually get on here, I think it's gonna be really pretty. So excited to hang these stockings and I know the grandkids are gonna be so excited. While I'm putting together the names on these tags, I wanna thank Tailored Canvases for sponsoring this part of my video. They reached out to me to kind of display one of their canvas. Christmas canvases this at uh, Christmas season and I was just honored they are such a huge company and I just started with a small one and now that I've got it in I'm like oh my goodness I should have got one of those extra large ones so um, I'll hopefully take my discount code that they give me I'll put it have it down in the description box I'll take my discount code and order me a bigger one because this is just beautiful the canvas that they sent me so let me show you the canvas real quickly Okay, so they let me decide which um, one I wanted, and I think this Merry Christmas one is just perfect. I absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty and so well made. So as I'm putting together my stockings, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about Tailored Canvases. Tailored Canvases is a company that specializes in canvas art. 
they also offer personalization on their canvases. So for instance, if you want to use your last name on a canvas, you can personalize it to fit your needs. Or say you're needing a housewarming gift for a newly married couple or someone that just bought a house or moved into a new apartment. This is the perfect gift for them because you can personalize it with your last name on it. This is my first time using tailored canvases, so I went ahead and just picked up a Merry Christmas sign and did a Christmas canvas because I knew I would need some type of art to go on my Christmas mantle. However, they have a ton of classic and modern designs for you to choose from. You just choose your design, and if you want it personalized, you just add your own personalization and then you place your order. It's pretty much that simple. Then they'll send you a preview before your order is shipped to make any adjustments or changes that you need. The cool thing about my canvas print is that it's ready to hang. So it comes in and it doesn't need any assembly, which is wonderful. And it is just ready to hang on my wall. It's very lightweight and the quality of the canvas is just spectacular. If you would like to check out tailored canvases for yourself, I'll have a link below in my description box. Just click on that link. It'll take you right to their website. And I'll also have a discount code. It'll be Robin15. And I'll have that down below in my description box also. And thank you again, Tailored Canvases, for sponsoring this portion of my video. All right, now that I've told you just a little bit about Tailored Canvases and showed you some before shots of my fireplace area, let's start decorating the mantle. I'll start by hanging the new garland that I showed you earlier, and I'm gonna hang them on these command hooks. Now, I did go back the next morning and add some little small nails to the mantle because overnight the garland fell, um, but that's okay, nothing was damaged, and I should have known to secure it a little bit better because it was a little heavier than I anticipated. But if, even if I'm being honest, guys, I really do not did not like the garland once I got it on the fireplace. That um, strip of wood, or whatever you want to call those, those vines that are together, is just a little bit too thick, and I really didn't like the way the little greenery fell on it. So this was not my favorite garland, and I have another box I haven't even opened. But anyway, I may do, and it looks okay, but it's just not my favorite. I really would not recommend it. So before we start filling in the spaces, let me just show you a look of all the big pieces that are up here. I think the vase plays off well with the sign, and then I think those red LED candles go really well with those gold candlesticks. I think I might try the off cream colored candles here just to see if I might like those better. So let me give those a try real fast. Okay, I think I like these a little better, guys. I really loved the remote control with the red ones, but I do think this works a little better, the clear ones. Those red ones just look so orange to me. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Should I stay with the red or should I go with these clear ones? Okay, I showed you a shot of two deer that I wanted to use. I'm not sure which one. If this black deer set a little higher since that wreath right there kind of takes up some of his body, I think I would stay with the black. But because of that kind of taking up some of his body, him sitting kind of low, I think I'm gonna put the white deer back.
there's a quick look with those Christmas trees. Now let me try another set of gold Christmas trees and see if I like those better. Okay, I think I like these Christmas trees a little bit better because they sit kind of taller, but I'm still not quite sure about the white reindeer. And um, since I, I thought maybe the white reindeer would kind of play off of the vase, but in the writing on the Merry Christmas sign, but those are kind of an off white, like a cream color. And I think it's just clashing with the white deer. So let me see if I can set the black deer up on something. I think that might work a little better. I think I'm gonna go with the black deer if I can find something to kind of prop him up on. Okay, I think that's gonna work, guys. I like the black deer playing off of the Merry Christmas, the, back, the black that's in the background of the Merry Christmas sign. And I really like that muted gold up against that sign also. So here we go. Of course, that garland takes up so much space that that kind of hinders me putting too much up there. Okay, so I still think I need to fill in that space right there with something. So. Let me see if I can find something to go right there just to kind of complete that look. Okay, and then I'm thinking about trying the little lantern. You know, there's three lanterns. And maybe I'll try the smaller one up here in place of those Christmas trees. So let me just try that and play around with that and see if that might work. Okay, friends, after much deliberation, which always takes me so long to decorate my mantle because I've got so much, too many choices, really. But I think we're going to settle for this. Now, now that I've got the garland up and I've got everything that I'm going to decorate the mantle with, let's put a couple more layers of garland on here and hang the stockings. And guys, if that crooked lantern is bothering you guys the way it's sitting crooked as much as it's bothering me while I'm editing it, I promise in just a few minutes I'll get that fixed. But okay, so I am going to use both of these garlands so that it'll kind of drape over the sides. And I do like the look of that. But like I said earlier, once this fell during the night, the next day, uh, when I want to put everything back up, I do change it up just a little bit. Um... So just wanted to let you know that I do fix that lantern and I do, I am using both of those garlands at this time. If this happens to be the first time that you visited my YouTube channel, hello, I'm Robin and I'm so happy that you're here. If you're still watching this video, I'm sure hoping that you're liking my content and I would love it if you would take a second before you leave today and hit that red subscribe button so I can see you back next week. I'll also have an Instagram account. It's the same as my YouTube channel. It's at Robin Lane Low, and I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. It's a really great way for us to get to know each other.
Okay, friends, now the stockings are hung by the chimney with care. <laughs> I know they're very simple, but I guarantee you, those grandbabies will not care what it looks like. They just want to know what's inside of it. So what do you guys think? A very simple, but I think it works together really well. I love the golds and the blacks together in the emerald green. So now let's work on the hearth really quickly. I am going to keep this minimal, y'all. I'm going to do it. It's so hard because this area is so hard for me to decorate. And I'm going to try to use this white deer. I just love him, and so does our youngest grandson. So let's see what we can do down here on the hearth. Okay guys, what do you think? I just love them. I love the red candles inside that gold. I think it is so, so pretty. So there's our first start. I think I'm gonna try to put a white deer right there and then I'll get my blanket ladder set up and maybe a basket with a pillow for some warmth and coziness on this hearth. And hopefully that's all I'm gonna do. So let's add this um, deer here and see what that looks like. But I am loving these lanterns a lot. After I added that white deer there to the left of the fireplace, I thought, you know, I'm going to put the blanket ladder here. So I went ahead and moved that deer over to the right side of the fireplace. Um, but to add to this blanket ladder, I'm going to use this beautiful green and white blanket that I got off of line at Kirkland's. I knew it was going to be perfect because it was that emerald green and it had that deer design on it which was perfect for the rustic feel that i was going to go for in the living room the bell garland that i was going to put on the mantle i decided not to use it it was going to be just too much layering there on the mantle so i cut that bell garland in half and i'll use some here on this blanket ladder and then i'll use some here in just a second to the right on a basket All right, now I'm gonna add a couple of my white flocked trees that I've picked up. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. There's a taller one and a short one, and I just love them. But just for some more added texture, I'm gonna use this tall wicker basket and put this taller tree into that basket. So we're gonna fluff it up real well, and then um, we'll put the shorter tree down below, fluff it up also, and then I'll add the sweetest little Mary Pella. I have actually used this Pella. I think this is my third Christmas season to use this Mary Pella. It came from Target. Uh, like I said three years ago and I've used it here on the fireplace in some form or fashion every year and I think it's simply adorable so again these trees I got I believe from Hobby Lobby last year and I think adding that little basket to it just gives it a little bit more character and as you see here there's the deer I just added to the right of the fireplace and I'm gonna go ahead and add the other section of those bales here to this basket now I was gonna use like this little rustic snowman pillow you'll see here in just a second but I did go with that little merry red and white pillow because just to go off to play off the white deer You'll see here in a second when I add that snowman pillow It just doesn't to me go as well with the white deer as the pillow that I end up using
Okay, friends, I'm going to show you guys some after shots, but pay attention because I did make some changes. I, I know I told you guys that the garland had fallen the night before. So what I did, I took that extra garland that I had on the mantle and I put it up above the mirror. I just thought that, that um, the, the mirror just needed something extra. So I put one of those little small garlands on top of the mirror. And I also added some ribbon that I got in from Amazon. You'll see here in just a second that this day also some ribbon had came in. I thought, you know, just to add some add, added touches, I'm going to add some green ribbon to the candlesticks, to the lanterns, and then I also got a cream colored ribbon that you'll see here. This is the green, and I also got it in cream color. So I'm going to take this beautiful ribbon. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it below. And like I said, I'm going to add some ribbon to the lanterns, to the candles with the green ribbon, and then I'll take the white cream I'll take the cream ribbon and add just a few touches at the end of each of the stockings on the mantle. All right, I now have my Christmas tree decorated, my fireplace area decorated. So come back next week and see part three of my Christmas living room. We'll be finished adding the finishing touches to my Christmas living room. Thanks so much, guys, for spending some of your precious time with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to hit that red subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you happen to be new, leave me maybe your name, where you're from in the comment section. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. No more